from uh, the, in the port of uh, the Pari. And um, I'm thinking about maybe doing a sketch here. It's a very uh, hot day as usual. Um, yeah, it's one of my problems actually, I'll show you the port here. It's, um, one of the problems of um, being in a place like this is that you have to um, find shade. And shade is a premium, and so all the um, restaurants, etc., etc., kind of tends to lie in the shade. And um, it's actually pretty hard to find somewhere. So I'm um, here on beside the trash, <laughs> just outside uh, the port. And um, yeah. So I'm, but more importantly, I'm in the shade. And uh, I'll show you actually, I have a little app here. If I can try and get my phone to working. Uh, up, up, up. Um, I use an app, I don't know if you can see this, called um, Sunseeker. And that basically tells me the sun is here at the moment. So if I face it in the direction of the sun, um, yeah, I really don't know if you can see this. But anyway, it's, um, it's telling me the sun's going to move around, following my thumb. And uh, so I've got a few hours here in the shade. Um, and hopefully I won't be disturbed too much. So um, I'm going to use this location um, to do a sketch. Um, I kind of, you know, it's washable I sketch. I don't know, I think I like the tree up there. Um, maybe something going down like this. Um, we'll see. Um, I'm kind of limited because of this, um, the fact that I can't just be out in the sun. Anyway, I'll get my kit together and um, see what happens. Okay, so uh, I've done my little sketch. It's um, here. And um, that's the scene over there. And it's um, time to get going. Oh, bell on my phone. Anyway, time to get going. Um, basically, what I'm going to try and do here is um, create um, shadows. Um, otherwise, they just do it be kind of flat up there. Let's see. I will um, in the sky. Go quite light, I think. Uh, go up. Um, again, I can make it interesting by not painting the whole sky in. So um, blue skies are very, very boring. Um, here I can cool it down if I want. It's because it's going to be the shade. Um, yeah, something like that. No more than that. Don't overwork it. And um, mountain. Okay, mountain. I'll put in straight away. Just um, again, very little. Keeping going. I'm going to try off this if I can a little bit more. Take away the moisture because I want to uh, put some yellow work there. I'm just kind of, this is the uh, first wash, so just letting it all blend together. Um, I want some contour. Um, go light, don't have too much pigment. Um, I want nice um, variations in here, so I'll, I'll try and capture that now. Um, yeah, something like that. Okay, some um, parasols there, whatever they're called, uh, umbrellas. And I don't know, I need to have a variation there, so I'm gonna put a bit of 
alizarin, crimson. Just, just to give a variation. It's not there in reality, but I just need something. Oops. Back to I mean, who's to tell? I decide. The architecture of the bar, and there's kind of an orange roof there. Like that. I'm not as chatty today as I was in the last day video because um, I had a bit too much wine last night. Anyway, they are just kind of um, playing with the. Have enough liquid on your brush so things happen. There's going to be orange there, so. Then it's, um, it's a little bit tricky. It's just. I want a lot of light here, so. I'll just. Um, again, I want. Something. I don't know. Different color here. I'm going to make this guy orange. So kind of making it much more bright compared to like what it is actually in reality. That's okay. Um, pointy brush is very important. Um, and of course, not to paint over your boat. Also very important. Painted over the boat. Anyway, keep going. Mm, there's some light. I don't know what to do there. Okay. You can hear me mumbling. It's, it's hard to know. I'm going to add a bit of blue here just to give it a kind of an age effect. So, this is a bit too. Nice. Messed that up a bit. This butter, maybe? Um, okay. Uh, I have to be careful, I don't want to splatter my other painting. So, um, yeah. Um, I might as well paint this in now. That boat isn't white. It's um, it's a kind of a shade. Okay. Now I'm just gonna play around with a few colors. Put some some lavender. Colors. That's going to be in shade there as well. Wash this yellow work out. Um, car will be this shade inside. And then I want to I'll put some yellow here for. Get a worker for the um, the building. And then I'll probably put some um, turquoise over that at a later date. Keeping the um, okay. So I'm gonna let this dry now. Um, for some video technical problems there. Right? Anyway, basically that's the um, watercolor. And it's, um, it's the first wash. And letting it um, dry. There's the scene. Um, fortunately, with a GoPro, it's so such a wide angle. But uh, basically, that's that's the scene, the area here that I'm um, trying to capture.
I'm going to um, exaggerate shadows and things like that just to try and get it to come out. We'll see. And um, as usual, here's my kit. Um, I'm using some Da Vinci style brushes, um, but they're not Da Vinci, these ones. Um, do I have any Da Vinci's? Yeah, this is a Da Vinci half um, synthetic. This is a full squirrel, squirrel hair, hair. This is a, a art shop in Stockholm. It's quite a low cost brush, but it's got a wonderful um, point. So I enjoy. And this is a Skoda. Um, Kolinsky, yeah. Um, nice little brush. Okay, and then there's my colors, a mixture of. Um, uh, there's a Holbein here, that's a Holbein. Windsor Newton, 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 Holbein. Yeah, the rest, uh, that's actually Daniel Smith. Um, um, could be Daniel Smith as well. The Lindsay and Crimson. Um, some neutral tint there. Um, some cobalt turquoise. Um, yeah. And lavender, which I'm using now more. It's a Holbein lavender. Water, spray bottle. Yeah. That's my stuff. Okay, I think this is. Um, I think this is getting dry now. So, um, um, it's warm. Um, but, uh, let's see, I'm having fun. So let's see what happens in the uh, stage two. Okay. Okay, I'm back again, and now it's time for um, stage two. That's the sketch I did yesterday, which, um, which was day before. It's in uh, Salina. The island of Selina, like that. So I don't want to damage that. So that's why this is over, over like that. Okay. So um, this is going to keep it simple, really. I think I'll go to um, this size brush, and um, I want to keep this faint up here, but not. Um, Keep it. Um, I don't want it to take attention. I want it to get darker down here. So um, this is just um, so the challenge will be to keep that pale. Wish I had three hands sometimes. Yeah, anyway, good math. Oops, let's see, keep on where I'm actually filming. Okay. Um, right, where is the uh, light coming from? So the light's coming from, well, that direction. But, but so, If you have a pointy brush, you can illustrate. Uh, if you don't have a pointy brush, you can't illustrate. Or you can, but it's really difficult. You certainly won't. So this is, it, it, here I am illustrating a little bit. Um, I want more shadow in here. Okay, we'll see. Okay, now let's get um, so I want to. Exaggerate right there. I think I'll let this fade out. I 
Add a little bit more pigment to the top there and just roll down. Seeing that? Okay, I have to tilt the page a little bit. So I'm tilt my chest camera. Um, a little bit better. To suggest brickwork. It's not so. A little. It's hard to explain this, but having a just a constant line is it's very boring. Just try and break up your straight lines. Okay. Um, a lot of this we'll just leave. That's a window. So I say so. That's a shadowed area. It's a bit too um, removed from the previous color. I'll just try and keep it. Okay, now I'm just um, doing this one quite carefully because I want to. I'm illustrating basically. So a little figure there. I'll probably come over this later, darkens once again. Um, what I'm doing there. All the time I'm looking up at that scene, seeing what can be done, what can't be done. I'll probably finish the whole thing, this whole thing with um, just um, one brush. Just add a bit more pigment here just to, to keep it interesting. There's a great thing about these small little cameras is that I don't take too much, it doesn't take up too much attention. You can see that people don't really notice that I'm filming myself. And that's good. Very good. I'm st stealth. I'm in stealth mode. No one sees me, I'm invisible. I like to be invisible. Don't know what I'm doing there, but something like that. So, some windows, things, I don't know. We'll work it out later. Oh, I see a nice little shadow. I think a bit of uh, ultraviolet. Uh, that's sitting there and just go. Will I regret that? Yeah, maybe. Yes. I like that violet. More violet. The violet, of course, will um, make it feel hotter. Because it's a cool color against the. There's too much violet there. Just cool it down. going. Um, put a bit of going with the violet here, but still. Don't know what this is, but I'm trying to put in a little shadow area so that 
Um, as much as you can do, very up. Got lost there, I don't know if that's going to close that. Out. So I'll put it in the yellow orca. And just let this go. I don't like these lines, they're kind of unsure. Last here, uh, I'm gonna have to take command again. What happens? Lose concentration, don't know. Um, shadow. Strange noises over there. Anyway, this building is in shadow, so hopefully it'll help the boat come out a bit. Very strange noises, like some plastic being ripped. This is an interesting ex exercise because. In order for this to work, I think I'm going to have to get quite strong my contrasts. Negatives here. See that? See the boat. Positives and negatives. That's a, what you got. Here's a positive. It's a, it's a boat, I think. And then there's a negative. So, too straight. I'll work on that later. Actually, I think I'll have to work on it pretty soon. So, this needs a bit more definition, I think. Just, um, I don't know what that is, but let's just um, say it's shadows. This isn't working either, so. Shadows. I think it's cute the music time, I'm not very chatty today at all. Because I think when you struggle with a painting, you don't actually want to talk too much. You just want to. Um, and this is definitely a bit more difficult thing. I'm going um, to capture the. Um, try and capture it.
Okay, um, so yeah, gonna let this dry now. Um, just put in some darks. And then, we're there. Might um, put a little bit more color here for the mountain. Just, it just helps to form the buildings better. So it could be an advantage. And it's, it's almost the same tonal value as the sky, which is, um, well, just want it a little bit darker. So it just goes off in this. It's important it goes off in the distance. But, um, yeah, okay. Just uh, let it dry. Well, maybe I won't let it dry, actually. I think I'll, I'll continue. Um, okay, so... Turning on the other camera. Um, now I think I'll just... Using the Kalinsky round brush, now I'm just going to... Put in with some thick pigment, and just do the, the last parts. So, here I'll just, um, I want things to happen, so, we shall see if things happen or not. So if it's still damp, can um, get nice lines at the waterline, maybe, some nice, very hopeful. There's the car. So, um, I have to try and make things happen here, so, need contrasts. And there's the boat, so line going here. Need a contrast here as well, so make it pop out. So I'm going purposely darker. I think I'll just do that. I think um, I'm going almost black, but I'm um, just using the burnt dumber and. Um, Ultramarine. And yeah, there's a balcony. Balcony. Window. Window. Um, yeah, the fewer strokes, the better. So you can see I'm almost illustrating this now. It's just a very thick pigment. I will state again that this is not. I'm not trying to create a finished or wonderful work of art. I'm just trying to capture moment. It's my holiday snap. I've chosen quite dark. Tone values here. Just, I just want to try and make it pop. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but anyway. Yeah.
focused here. Um, far away mountain there, I want to just darken so much just here and here and here and then fade it up just using some water. So it just creates a bit of more definition there. Good, good. Aerial there, I like some verticals. If you can get a vertical, just to take advantage of it, just, um, just help with the painting. Okay, you know that can there. I can actually put a flag here or something, this just helps. I'll put some flag there, put one here as well. It just feels like it needs it. Um, can't explain. Just, just, a, just a feeling. Um, here, some shade, light. <gasps> Gives the feeling of light again. Good, good. This orange roof here, take advantage of that. Might put some more of this in. Just to, okay, gives a bit of contrast. So I, I think I'll put some here. And one little bit there. It doesn't exist in reality. Well, it is, does a little bit, but it just helps define. Roofs and things. Okay. A few more verticals. Make this few vertical here. Put a little person here. Oops. Um, I think I'm coming to, coming to the end of this now because um, it really is just um, down by the um, the harbour sketch. I'd like a little bit more definition here, maybe. Just suggested there is a boat here, so and maybe uh, it won't hurt with a bit of. Red, maybe to help inform everybody that that is actually a boat. You can do the same here with a bit of blue. More blue. Yeah, I like that. Put some more blue in. Can I explain why I'm doing this? No, it's just design. Okay, so I think um, while it's not masterpiece, it's totally fine. So um, I will um, show you the finished result very soon. Okay, so I'll take the tape away. Um, and I think I'll go and have some lunch. So, yeah, so um, I think it's okay. Um, might just do a few more little tweaks to it. Actually, I think I will. Um, actually, when you take off the um, 
masking tape, you can actually see things and go, oh, you know, it's, it's a bit of a, there's something there, there's something here. Um, I think this area could have done better, but anyway, it's done now. Some guy in red there. Shooting, of course. Dull it down a bit. And uh, maybe try and get rest, get some wipe, get some wipe back here. Yeah. Just use some so some uh, titanium white. It's nice to get a comment. Some people are um, shy of people, but um, I think because I've been some urban sketches for so many years, I um, got used to people coming up to me. Okay, I'm putting in a little titanium white here. It's actually, I think it's an advantage. So I'm going to continue with it a little bit. Maybe just. It fades off once it dries. Bloody ah! hell. Sometimes I'm going to be, I'm going to be attacked. Okay. I guess this shouldn't be. Yes, it's a little bit of I thought I'd finished, but I haven't. Okay. Right. I'm hungry. Time to go. Time to get um, something. Done. Still watching good um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and give this video a like if you like it if you want to support me in any way uh, these videos are free on YouTube but not free to make um, please go into my patreon link below this video um, and join the community um, it's a small community of people who are um, supporting me um, there I give news updates and um, it's a you know basically you can get to, to know me better um, and it's it's it goes a long way to helping me um, especially the um, this just feeling like I'm getting supported that's so important okay cheers um, see you at the next video